Do you not think yours truly should form in Torium from this ghastly place? It was only moons ago when we would walk the land free without one such as ours being held down by laws. Oh, those new laws. Those blessed laws be damned by the old once again. I feel a conglomeration of fire wilding inside me. A fierce unrest that will torment yours truly until the end, albeit I wither and decay all. Nay, do not utter any more of this predicament. I shall not let my ears hear its bile. I shall not let my mouth whisper it. For it is our fate to stay halted here. For in waiting I will show the foolish ways of the new age. Quite right, quite right indeed. We have tested out our sanities thus far. We are forerunner. We do not let doubt put its poison in us. As we endure an age, humanity will eventually dissolve into hopeless beasts once more, forever lost. That is our hour, and we will be their monoliths. And, and they, they shall, shall worship us. us. Who art thou? What art thou? I do believe thou, this man do see us. Does he not see our staddle, like every other flock that comes here? I believe we should dabble and converse with this boy. It has been so very long a being from the dirt has looked upon us. Yourself first. Questions two previous is back. Whence you said, who are you? We are beings of old, and our true names are ours to keep, for if we should war gabbit, you should surely run. Your second question, two previous is back. What are you? We are beings that live beyond mere existence. However, on occasions, lambs out of the flock do perceive us, not with their eyes. It is deeper, much deeper. Your third question, two previous is back. I do believe that this was mostly rhetorical, but yea, I will indulge. I am losing my mind. Nay, you are not. However, if you do hollow out and cry of what you have seen, bedlam will await. Pity would be in the eyes of the flock, and cast you aside, you shall be. Your fourth question, one previous back. Where have you come from? Do as you see the air you breathe? We have always haunted your steps from beginning to end. We have been here longer than you, from your father's father and your father's father before. Tis our house you have walked in. Look, the poor man is inept to utter words from thy mouth. Have you not any extraordinary things to say, or does ourselves being here like this halt the work of your mind? Stay your path. We answered your fourth question with little hesitation. I shall think one like yourself would be obliged to indulge us in matters of which trifle us. Do not trouble yourself. I do not believe you will need strength, power, nor wisdom. It is something so mind-numbingly simple even a fool could do it. Perching yourself on that spot, that very spot, making very little adjustment to position, we will reach out and touch ourselves. Oh so many questions, oh so little time. I tell you to withhold your tongue and make your mind a blank. We have been in limbo for so very long, it will feel splendid. A treacherous, deceitful kind will know thy name and rejoice for ours known, known bounds. We are almost there.